All right, boys and girls, I want you to have read um, A Trip to the Immigration Museum two times. I want you to pause this video and read it two times for me, and then we're go going to go back and talk through the answers. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. We're looking at page one. Um, on, the, on the questions here. It says, what did Sarah and her class learn about on their class visit? Well, it was in paragraph one. They learned how people came to America a hundred years ago. Yes, they didn't learn how to drive a ferry boat and they didn't learn how to interview somebody. She said at the end of the story that she wanted to inter interview her parents, but that's not what they learned about. Where does this story mostly take place? If you look in the very first sentence, the story takes place, the part of the story takes place on a ferry boat um, at the Ellis Island Immigration Museum. That's where most of the story takes place. Um, they were on a ferry boat for a little bit, and then they did see the Statue of Liberty, but most of it took place at the Ellis Island Immigration Museum. Now we're going to read these sentences from the text. This is where immigrants had to check their baggage, a guide said. They had come on long trips aboard very crowded ships. They knew they may never be able to return to their old country. Based on this evidence, what conclusion can you draw about where these immigrants came from? Did they come from nearby? No. Did they come from far away countries? Absolutely. Absolutely. Did they come from different parts of the U.S.? No. They were immigrants. They're coming from out of the United States. All right, number four. Immigrants to the United States wanted very much to become Americans. What evidence from the text supports this statement? So it says, what evidence, evidence from the text, though so that means it's going to be in the story. They arrived at the building that was turned into Ellis Island Immigration Museum. Does that tell them that they wanted to be Americans very much? They came to U.S. wearing old-timey dresses, boots, and clothes? No, that doesn't tell us. They came to the United States knowing that they may never be able to return to their old country. If they came knowing that they may never be able to return to their old country, does that tell you how very much they want to become Americans? They must want to become Americans badly if they know that they could never return to their own country. Number five, what is the main idea? Now remember, the main idea is what this story is all about. Is it all about Sarah visited a museum and learned about immigrants who came to the United States 100 years, years ago? Is it about Sarah interviewing her parents? Or is it about Sarah seeing old trunks, suitcases, and baskets? Yes, it's A. It's about Sarah visiting a museum and learning about immigrants who came to the United States hundreds of years ago. All right, next page. Let's look at number six. Looking at number six. Read the sentences from the text. This museum is in the building where immigrants to the United States arrived a hundred years ago, Sarah's teacher explained. You will learn how people came to America back then. In these sentences, what does the phrase immigrants to the United States mean? Is it people who were traveling the world? People who left America to live somewhere else? Or people who came to live in America? Immigrants are people who come to live in America. Number seven, Sarah wanted to know more about her parent, about how her parents immigrated to the United States. What transition words? So these are trans, T-R-A-N-S-I-T-I-O-N. These are transition words. What transition word best fits in this blank? Sarah wanted to know more about how her parents immigrated to the United States, so she decided to interview them, because she decided to interview them, or but she decided to interview them. 
The best choice here is going to be A. So, she decided to interview them. Now, we're looking at 8, 9, and 10. And boys and girls, these have to be complete sentences. Number eight says, how did many immigrants feel about coming to, uh, about becoming Americans? Well, if you look in the last sentence on paragraph five, it tells you they were proud to become Americans. Forgot my period. They were proud to become Americans. Number nine says, what does the guide tell Sarah about the trips immigrants had to take to get to the United States. Well, boys and girls, in paragraph four, it talks about the trips. It says the trips were long and the ships were crowded. Look back in paragraph four and you'll see that. Number 10 says Sarah plans to interview her parents to learn more about how they came to the United States. How might Sarah's parents' experience be like, so we only want to know how they're alike, how will their experience be like the experience of immigrants who came to the United States 100 years ago? Use details from the text to support your answer. Well, we know the immigrants from 100 years ago were proud, remember? They were proud. Do you think Sarah's parents were also proud? So just like the immigrants from 100 years ago, I bet Sarah's parents were also proud to become Americans. Tomorrow, boys and girls, you will do a paper very similar to this. You will do it on your own. You can refer back to the text and you will turn that in for a reading grade.